Now let's look at adding an RSS feed viewer. Now an RSS feed, as we've seen before, is, stands for Real Simple Syndication. And this allows you to, on your MySite page, add uh, a writer or someone that, that has a blog. Uh, you can add them directly on your site. So let's say you're uh, doing a photography class and you have uh, found someone who you would like your students to read on, on a regular basis. You, instead of having to send them out to find this author, or writer, or blogger, you can post their blog on your site. And it's really great because you only have to do it once, and then every time they add something to their blog, it will show up on your page. The first step before we even add the web part is to go and get the address of the blog. Uh, so, for example, here I found here on the star.com, uh, the Toronto Star website, uh, this blog here from the photo desk. So we'll click on it. And then you'll notice here, uh, if you're using Windows Explorer, you'll notice this little orange symbol, View Feeds, on this page. If you click on it, it will bring you to a slightly different page. And this is where we have the information on uh, the RSS feed. And what you need is you need to select the web address, because this is the address that we're going to put into our uh, web part. So we're going to copy that. Now we're going to go back to your My Site. We're going to go to Site Actions. We're going to edit our page. And now we're going to add a web part. Now you're going to scroll down. Until you get to the default and RSS viewer. Check the box and add. So you'll now you'll see the web part is there. I'd actually like to have it below my folder. Move it there. Then you're going to edit and modify the shared web part. This will let you input the information uh, as to where to find the feed that you want to uh, have on your page. So RSS feed URL, this is where you're going to click and paste the web address that we found. So that's where it's going to go look for the, uh, the feed. And here, feed limit, you have a choice uh, if you want to have to show the five most recent uh, items on your list. You can change it to 10 if you want. Uh, it's entirely up to you. Then you're going to click Apply and OK. And exit edit mode. So now you'll see your RSS viewer is here. You have the title of your blog and then you have the individual um, posting so the students can then click on the one they want to see and then if you click on more it should bring you to the blog entry itself and there you go you have a blog uh, on your my site it makes it a lot easier for students to find what you want them to find and it's also a lot easier because you don't have to update continually um, and you get the most recent stuff uh, on your site.